Welcome back to Concepts. In the spirit of the holiday season, I will be showing you how to select and move existing objects, work with layers, and to use fill for custom coloring. All of this so that we can design our own gingerbread style cookies. You can find the link below to download our gingerbread template so you can do this tutorial with me. This sketch was done in Concept Smarter Sketching, a vector-based app that we created for designers, makers, and all fellow creatives out there, so you can all have a powerful tool on the go. We're doing things a little differently here because we're starting with a pre-drawn template that I've made. This top section is the already rendered objects. You have the base, the buttons and features, the outfits and accessories on the right side here. Then, on the lower section over here are all the same objects but in a line drawing form. This option is for those that would like to color in their own gingerbread objects. Okay, for this tutorial, the important settings I want to take note of is the infinite canvas, and under the selection options, I'm using include partial items. And also, we have a new feature called two finger tap. And you can customize this to be all the other quick action settings that we have here. I like to use my two finger tap button as an undo action. Okay, so these are the layers that we're starting with. Zero is just where I drew the lines and dividers for the objects, and also where I wrote the labels. So we can just leave this locked. One is the layer with the colored and objects. Something to note, even the white parts are filled in for these objects. So you're free to change your paper color and these objects will still be white. And two is the layer with the line drawing versions of the objects. If you want to use these objects, I would suggest to use fill in a layer underneath this layer if you want to keep the line drawing look. I'll be showing you how to use both ways, so let's first start with the pre-colored in objects. So I just select the items I want to use, then I hit the copy button, and now I have another copy of that object. Another way to select with the selection tool is to just tap the object that's already grouped. You know, instead of dragging the tool around the object. I'm gonna make a pretty little gingerbread cookie and I'm gonna call her Ginger. I'm gonna add a hat with her dress and a cute little bow. Ooh, and mistletoe earrings maybe? Uh, how about some socks or shoes? Hmm. Maybe she can hold a candy cane. Yeah, that's cute. So now I'm gonna select the entire gingerbread cookie that I just made. Then hit this option right here called extract to a new layer. Now she's in her own layer and I'm gonna move this all the way to the top. And I'm just gonna name it three ginger cane. Okay, so that was easy enough. Now it's time to show you how we can make an even more custom gingerbread cookie from the line drawings down here. Again, I just select the object. I'm going to start with the cookie base shape here, then move it over to the side so I have more room to work. I'm going to quickly select and copy some buttons. And his facial expression here. This time, let's use the scarf. Let me just make a little bit more room here. Okay, so by pulling the objects this way, you'll notice that you'll see some lines overlapping like this. 
and they'll stay overlapped even if you render on a layer beneath this one. So if you don't mind that look, then that's fine. You can just continue with this. But for those that do mind, another way to get around that is to pull all the objects you want to use off to the side here and keep them all separate. Then we'll use filled stroke on a layer underneath. There we'll be rendering all the other colors we want to make them. And once we finish rendering, we'll then merge the layer down and it becomes one grouped item. Remember when I said let's work with partial items for our selection options? Well, that's because we're in this top layer right now and I want to be able to select and copy and move any object I want without having to leave or go in between layers. Also, I want to make note that selection is one of our more powerful tools and is a paid upgrade. So this awesome feature is part of our Pro Pack. Some shadows to add a little bit of depth here and there. Just adding some of the icing outline here. And coloring this white in, it's helpful to change the paper color so that we can see the white filled stroke better. I want to use some bright and festive colors, but you know, not just the traditional red and green ones. And let's make this mistletoe a lighter green color. And let's make it with a red ribbon again. So now I'm going to merge this line drawing layer down to the fill stroke renders. Now that all the layers are all merged, I'll now select the items and start placing them onto my cookie base here. You'll notice that we no longer have the lines overlapping like we did earlier. So I'm just going to select the entire gingerbread man and I'm going to group him together. And now I'm going to extract him to a new layer. And I'm going to place him next to Ginger. And put a little mistletoe dangling in between them. Then I want to copy each gingerbread cookie I made and make a smaller version and I want to make them a family all right and it's a little gingerbread family we got here if you want to try this gingerbread cookie object library please click the link below to download this drawing onto your own concepts gallery please post your finished works I'd love to see your creative combinations also, if you could please like our video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, we'd really appreciate it. The Concepts team wishes you all a very happy holiday season, and we thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next tutorial.